ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಔಟ್ ಕಳೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗೆಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೀ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದಿ ಹಾಲ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ बाहर जो भी सेवाधारी भाई बहने हैं कृपया वहाँ पे आवाज आ रही तो सभी को क्लास में भेज दे हॉल में बाहर आप एक बार देखो ना
Om Shanti, those of you who are still outside the hall, I request all of you to kindly come back to this hall and take your seats. We have another eminent speaker with us today, Dr. Mohit Gupta Bhaiji. I request Mohit Bhai to kindly come on to the dais. Mohit Bhai is associated with Brahma Kumari since his childhood and a daily practitioner of meditation. By profession, he is an intervention cardiologist and works as a professor of cardiology in G.B. Panth Hospital, Delhi. He is also a cardiologist in the Parliament Health Annex for Honorable Members of the Parliament. Um, his list of awards and achievements are many. Uh, just to mention a few, National Best Innovation Award in Cardiology 2021, Eminent Teacher Award by Delhi Medical Association in 2022, Young Scientist Award in 2019, and he's been invited by TEDx to speak on creating a conscious future, which is our topic today. So he'll be sharing on that with us today. And he's also uh, authored many articles and uh, written many columns in newspapers and has appeared in many TV shows too. So over to Mohit Bhai. Before uh, we begin the session, let us begin with two minutes of meditation. Om Shanti. Nirmal ho jivan apna ho sankalp vimal निर्मल हो जीवन अपना हो संकल्प विमल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल आत्म परिवर्तन कर ले विश्व परिवर्तन कर दे करो और जाओ भूल भला करो और जाओ भूल वो अपना बस यही सूल शूल बिछाए कोई पथ में तो भी बिछाना हमको भूल तो भी बिछाना हमको भूल शुभ संकल्पों के मोती 
सुख के रचे महल शुभ संकल्पों के मोती सुख के रचे महल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल खुद को हम बदले इतना जग ये जाए बदल Very good afternoon to all of you and Om Shanti. Thank you so much for this uh, terrific opportunity. Well, I do understand that uh, you have been loaded with lots and lots of knowledge in wonderful and fantabulous sessions uh, since yesterday. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to definitely give you a 10 or a 20 point uh, program that how to design your destiny. And as I sit here in front of you, I remember a beautiful incident which happened a year back when I was going to induct and take a session for students at IIM uh, Lucknow. I was flying and uh, one of my friends was there with me and uh, he very politely asked me when we were having a heartful discussion. And he said, uh, Dr. Gupta, may I ask you that how many times actually do we reincarnate in our life? Now this was a very spontaneous question from a very wise man. And it left me wondering. And that one hour discussion with him, I spontaneously though replied, I said, that my dear friend, uh, every time I think new, I reincarnate in my life. And this satisfied him definitely. And then that left me down the memory lane for almost 25 to 30 years of my journey with Brahma Kumaris. I knew I have been following Raj Yoga meditation since my childhood. But one thing that really occurred to me that how and beautifully we can use this knowledge to transform our life. How and what is the scientific evidence that runs behind the transformations that occur in our life. How we can practically design our own destiny or how we can consciously create our future. What we want, how much we want, the way we want, when we want. Imagine how magical the world would be that everything is happening the way you want to create. And that is why today here I am that I am going to share my three stories of hope, of belief and of transformation. They are all magical stories. What I am going to share with you today is pure science, spirituality and science. I am not going to say that be peaceful, talk nicely, you should be meditating every day, don't do this, no. But I am going to make you understand that why you should be doing what you are being told. What is the evidence behind it? What experiments as a spiritual organization as Brahma Kumaris, we have been conducting in our labs what is the rationale behind doing and what you are being told. These stories I am going to share with you with backing up of science, absolutely pure scientific evidence which will leave you in an awe. Let me tell you, this is going to be one of the most revealing journeys of your life. Something that you are going to hear in next 60 minutes is something that you would have never even imagined in your wildest of the dreams. You could have never even thought of that this is the magic, this is the power we each one of us is holding. I am not here to impress you and say that oh this lecture was terrific but I am here to awaken, awaken the guru in you, awaken the beautiful soul, the power that you are. I would be happy that one of you next year is standing in the same conference and narrating your own transforming experience. This is what is the beauty and the magic of meditation is. This is what creating a conscious future is. My dear friends, my story starts with a day that changed my life forever. I've been with Brahma Kumaris since my childhood. Those were the times when people were allergic to Brahma Kumaris. 
uh, I was only one year old. My parents, both doctors, gastroenterologists, one is gynecologist, they never used to go to Brahma Kumaris. My aunt would take me secretly to the ashram and I would just play in the laps of, you know, like a little child. And those virtues, those knowledge, those beautiful moments were gradually, deeply getting ingrained in me. Ultimately, we all ended up in Brahma Kumaris as a family in 1985, 14th July. I was practicing and practicing as a routine. I was experimenting with Raj Yoga meditation right from my MBBS days. But 20th March 2003 was a day that gave a major jolt to my life and that completely transformed my life. After 48 hours of working in my cardiac cath lab, I came back home, 5.30 p.m. in the evening was the time, comfortable but very tired and fatigued. My mother said, would you like to have a dinner? I said, no, I'm not going to have any dinner. She said, okay, I'll offer you an ice cream and she gave a scoop of vanilla in my right hand. Time was around about and about 8.30 or so, I willingly took that ice cream scoop in my right hand and within 10 seconds that ice cream fell off my hand and I collapsed on the floor. I started throwing massive scissors and I was in a semi-conscious stage. It was for a cardiologist who has achieved everything in his life. I could, I just used to imagine and create something. I used to dream, I used to work and that thing would naturally flow to me. The way I wanted, what I wanted, I always used to achieve that thing in my professional life. But that was like a bolt out of the blue. I was rushed to my hospital, my own hospital. My senior friends, my teachers, they resuscitated me. The whole night went in controlling my seizures. And next day when I got up in my ICU, I was in like a dilemma stage. What has happened? This is something like end of my life, something that I could have never imagined. My brain scans were done. And you know what my brain scans revealed? My brain scans revealed a large mass in my right parietal lobe. A large mass. Everybody was afraid. This is a real picture of my mass. I was diagnosed as multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. Organism was mycobacterium cancer side. In my 49 years of my life, this is the only case I have seen and that was my own self, mycobacterium cancer cell. 19 drugs available at that time in the whole world, not talking about India. Samples went to CDC Atlanta, USA. I was resistant to 18 drugs, not working on me. Only single injection, amycacin, which was, to which I was sensitive, one of the most toxic injections. I used to get those injections every day on my hip. When my hip gave away, ultimately my anesthetist used to come every day to my home with a separate needle. Every millimeter my veins used to be picked. Every day a new injection. 16 tablets a day, 8 in the morning, like a box and 8 in the evening. This is what I used to consume. And this is where I was really amazed that what has happened in my life. I was just running. It left me in a very unique journey. I was just going deep in myself. I wanted to be a cardiologist. I am a cardiologist. I was studying in John Hopkins. So wonderful. I got gastroenterology. Left it there. I went to Oxford, Cambridge. Everything was pick and span. I came back to India and willingly took up to cardiology just to stay with my parents and serve my own country. Everything was just like a dream which was going perfect. And here I was. Everything was shattered. It was like a David and a Goliath, you know, you are there fighting with each other and what to do and what next is in store. My mind was in turmoil. I was thinking that yes, work was my priority. I used to work day in and out. But what about living my own life? Somewhere, somehow I knew that balance was not there. Though I was practicing meditation, but where was the balance? Where was the joy? Where was the happiness that I am supposed to create in my life? I knew that life is supposed to be very simple. And let me tell you, it takes lots and lots of effort to keep things simple. We make things complex every day either way, you know that. By our thoughts, by our works and by our action. I knew that I had also made my life very, very complex. Undesirably complex. I was living my life in an emergency mode. 
I realized that anything working in an emergency mode is bound to be shattered and tired. It is bound to get exhausted much more earlier as compared to a routine working machine. I also knew that in this never ending race of materialism, I had bargained my own health and happiness. And my dear friends, there I was, I knew that if I want to see my life evolving and transforming, I have to bring that change in my own self. That is the day I started really experiencing, I started really experimenting, studying deeper depths and realms of meditation, started experimenting on my own self and my patients and all these experiments in my own life, in our labs, the studies that I have conducted, we have conducted in collaboration with various institutes like Harvard, like IIT and also these studies that have been conducted all over the world, I am going to present them in a very simple way to you. And let me tell you, you will be left so much empowered, you will be magically empowered that yes, you have the power to create your destiny. That is the day I gave away one word from my life. I knew right from morning till evening we are running. Right from morning till evening we are running and two words that have become synonymous with our life are I am busy and I don't have time. Jaldi karo, jaldi karo, time nahi hai, time nahi hai, busy hoon, busy hoon. 21 years now after that incident, I have never allowed this word busy to be associated with my life. Never. I never entertain everybody who says he's a busy card all this. I said, no, don't, don't. It looks like really a punishment. And the first thing that I pledge to myself, and I would request all of you to repeat after me, that's the essence of life. That's the essence of meditation. Come on, recite and repeat after me. From today, I am not busy in my life. But I am be easy in my life. See, this busy word itself has a very beautiful word, be easy in my life. You may be busy outside, but if your mind, your thoughts are easy, your outward busyness will never matter. My schedules run hard from 3.15, 3.30 am in the morning till 11 pm for last almost 20-25 years, but never I have thought or told myself that I am busy in my life. Never allow that busyness to come into your mind. So it's all about the mindset. It's all about the power that you create. Nothing works if you change your own mindset. Old ways are going to give you the so, same old results. And if you change nothing, nothing is going to change. You will say, oh, this was fantastic. But I am here to inspire you. And you guys have to motivate yourself. Nobody can motivate you. I can only inspire you. You have to motivate yourself that yes, today is the day that I have to bring that one single change in my life. Not a radical one. Not a change for even six months, three months, one month or even for one week. You have to say, I have to bring one change for one day and do it. And if you find that they, that change works for you for one day, next day you will automatically start following it. So, let us begin this beautiful scientific journey, the most revealing journey that you would have ever experienced. My dear friends, Sanford University, California. It clearly says we all generate 50 to 70,000 thoughts in a single day. That's terrific. That's something like a who output for any machine. But the unfortunate part is, it also says 95% of our thoughts are waste, are negative, are repetitive and are useless thoughts. Imagine. Imagine a factory, an IT company or any particular you know, industry that is generating almost 50 to 70,000 products and out of them almost 49,000 products are useless, redundant or waste. That means only 5% of our thoughts are positive, powerful and purposeful and that shows the quality of our existence. Stress hai, tanav hai, we are not able to enjoy. Why? Because we have no practically rational and sense of control over our own thoughts. And why this is important? Also because each of our thought is giving us a behavior. Imagine a day when you are very happy. 
your thoughts are like amazing they are full of joy what will happen to your behavior your behavior will be fantastic you will just be forgiving people you will just be hugging people you will just be gifting people with loads and loads of joy and happiness and the day you will feel like on the seventh or the eighth sky you will really be very very happy and wonderful but on the contrary if your thoughts are negative your behavior would be negative and also your feelings would be negative you won't be experiencing that kind of a joy so your life is nothing but it's only a consequence of what your thoughts are creating positive or negative it's neutral it's value neutral positive thoughts a positive feeling and a positive life and negative thoughts negative feeling and a negative life so the biggest question is yes our thoughts are creating our destiny but are our thoughts contained within our brain or do we have evidence that what we are thinking it is also radiating outside today machines like magnetoencephalogram without touching your brain without touching your head this machine is able to map the kind of thoughts that you are generating the kind the patterns whether they are positive negative neutral what kind of thoughts it will map it so beautifully and present it in a wonderful mapping pattern which i'm going to show you in the end of the presentation and that shows that what you are thinking is not just confined to your brain but it is radiating fast outside you all must have experienced are abhi to i was remembering you when you just called hota hai sabke sath ya nahi hota it happens with everybody how this happens this is the power of telepathy this is the power of our thoughts the second question that comes is okay dr mohit if my thoughts are not confined within my brain that where are my thoughts radiating where are they acting in this world your thoughts are acting on your own self on your genes on your body on your own mind your thoughts are also acting on your relations your family and friends and your thoughts are also acting and influencing powerfully your environment your water your food your nature and the atmosphere where you are sitting every bit of this every aspect of this i'll be proving it in front of you with scientific experiments today and you will be amazed to see what kind of power you are a master of you can create magic in your life in your own body in your relations and in the environment all working by your own power so let's start can my thoughts affect my genes a big question is bhai iska to genetic makeup hi kharab hai kehta don't work on this guy he's got this negative genes from his parents his he is not going to improve that means we start believing that my mom and dad are my limit and if that's the reason that's the case that's a reason to worry i am not able to work on my genes or if i am to say that if your family history is full of heart attack and heart diseases that means that somewhere somehow down the lane i am also going to get that disease do i have like a switch in a bad bedroom can i switch off the negative genes and switch on the positive genes of health genes or happiness genes and i can design and make my genes work according to me is it possible or not we are going to explore that and if the answer is yes that is something which is magical oh my vichar my thoughts are working on my genes this is what we studied in our experiments this is called science of epigenetics that means your chromosome is having this wonderful gene look at this gene pink gene which is enclosed in the chromosome but when an external influence or factor comes it unwinds and it modifies this genes in a positive or a negative way the first experiments came from a famous scientist dean ornish look at me what he did he took 30 patients of prostate cancer proven prostate cancer not ready for medical treatment and he just gave them lifestyle modifications and stress management imagine lifestyle modifications and stress management a published study 3 months of practice of lifestyle and stress management what were the results the cancer causing gene ran it down regulated and the protein building gene zdnf250 it started expressing higher in those people who were practicing meditation are having a good lifestyle 
not only this at the end of three months more than 500 gene expressions change and you would be amazed to hear that all the cancer causing genes were down regulated they either switched off or they down regulated in this particular group these people were more likely to survive for a longer time if they were meditating or if they were having a positive and a healthy lifestyle this experiment really attracted me and you know I was left in an awe after I read this experiment and then something happened in my life and that is my first story that I am going to share with you that was a day of Saturday 2018 and we had already operated almost 26 cases started from 6 a.m. in the morning and it was 9.30 p.m. we were winding off our work suddenly there was a noise outside my cat lab and a young 21 year old boy was brought dead into my lab put on my cat lab table to operate his BP was unrecordable zero he was pulseless his ECG was flat line and we were asked to resuscitate and do something for that young person he had a massive heart attack we had nothing to lose we put him on an artificial support system ventilated him put adrenaline to him we engaged his left coronary artery with my team it was blocked we sucked out all the thrombus we could see a little activity with heart pumping at a rate of only 30 to 40 beats per minute his blood pressure started coming up to a level of 50 to 60 millimeters of mercury we sucked all the thrombus, we stented the artery, the operation went very successful and we shifted the young guy in a poor critical condition to the ICU. This is the best we could have done. Next day when I went for the rounds, you would be surprised that that young 21 year old boy was sitting as if nothing had happened. He had still ventilated tube inside his mouth. Everybody was happy, Dr. Gupta, it is fantastic, this is a life saved. Nobody could have imagined this and they were literally in tears of joy let me tell you that was the most disturbing day of my life never ever I had been so disturbed because one thought was continuously bothering me why 21 year old boy is having an heart attack he's a non-diabetic non-hypertensive no family history no dyslipidemia lipids are normal no other risk factors still he has an heart attack we extubated him and I said I would like to talk to your family and his parents came there jumping they said we will talk on his behalf I said no he's a young guy he's married I have on the records it's mentioned that he has a four month old daughter I would like to speak to his spouse his wife and I would I also like to meet the little angel his parents took me separately Daksa please come with us separate I said what happened I said don't talk to him he's disturbed they are on the verge of divorce one month later they have already filed for the divorce paper they are going to separate from each other so that girl is not going to come we will answer all your questions I said no I request you with folded hands to call that girl on my behalf and tell her the situation and ask her to come for half an hour reluctantly they called politely that girl agreed she is an IT professional this guy was a chartered accountant she came with a little angelic four month old daughter I made them sit in a room I said see what has happened they said no we don't have time we are so busy we are unable to connect our, we, our differences were piling up we don't even give 10 minutes to each other I said no worries if you guys have decided to separate separate I'm not going to stop you from doing that but can you do two things for me and they look like sharp eyes okay what this doctor is going to tell us I said you just do two things one is for next one month start giving only 10 to 15 minutes to each other every day in the evening accepting each other talking to each other about your problems sharing your concerns and worries and just remain quiet and live your life joyfully just for the sake of this little child they said okay we will try and second I requested to that young girl I said you have only one month and in one month I have four outpatient department OPDs that is on Tuesday morning starting at 9 a.m. Can you do one thing? She said, yes, I will do. I said, I will see your husband only when you come in my OPD holding his hand and bring him to my OPD every Tuesday. And she like looked like a sharp laser eye and said, okay, sir, because you are saying, I'll do that. And they started coming to my OPD every Tuesday in 2018. 
my dear friends she came for first week she came for second week she came for one month she came for six months and has been four years they are still coming with their hands holding their four month old daughter has grown into a four year old child they have withdrawn their divorce papers they are living their life happily now that's the power that you create that is practicing true spirituality spirituality is not about just chanting mantras and meditating no it's about living those values living those vibrations in your life it's about transforming your relations it's about accepting each other naturally understanding that differences are always going to be there but still accepting understanding and appreciation are the keys and that is what prompted me to carry experiments in young heart attack patients typically i operate 100 to 150 cases in a week. Ours is the busiest center in Asia. And we start early in the morning. And unfortunately, out of 100 cases I am operating, my 25% of the cases are between 18 to 30 years. Imagine, 18 to 30 years is what heart attack patients are coming to me. This is the census. We have published this data. So what I did was, I collected all the young patients of heart attack. Now listen this very carefully. I collected all these young heart attack patients who were non-smokers and non-diabetes. What were the results? Look at the results. These young children, 150 of them which we took, their bodily age was, chronological age was 18 to 30, 35 years. But their biologic age, when we measured their telomere length, it was equal to a 60 to 90 year old gentleman. Imagine, their genes were completely destroyed. In that young costume, we were dealing with a person who was having a gene of a 90 year old person. This left me surprised. I said, what is happening? What is the cause of this? We carried out further analysis just to know that the single most important predictor for causing this destruction of genetic length was psychosocial stress, anger, lack of love, lack of happiness lack of gratitude they had six digits of salaries they had a good car to drive they had everything materialistic they could dream of everything that they wanted they had they had almiras loaded with good clothes they had perfumes they had everything they wanted but they had also had a large level a high level of stress then this made me think that even if stress is there how does it affect my genes how does it affect my aging? Why are these young people biologically so much aged? We conducted further experiments to show that those people who are having lack of love, lack of purpose in life, lack of joy, domestic violence, poor relations in family. Imagine, Bhagwan ka naam to le rahe They are meditating, but the change is not occurring in their life. They are the people whose telomerase enzyme is going to be destroyed and their telomere length which predicts aging, depression and disease that goes down and down and down. On the contrary, we saw in the control population when we have happiness, gratitude, positive outlook, positive love in our family, we appreciate each other, we exercise every day, we are in service, those are the people whose genetic length or telomere length keeps on increasing because this telomerase enzyme keeps on increasing. That is why it made me think that in old age, the yogis who were having a lot of joy and happiness, they used to live for 150 years and their chromosomes were like a young boy or a young child. This is the magic that our thoughts can create. This is the magic that your own lifestyle can create. This is the science that goes behind a 
meditative lifestyle. Meditation is not just about chanting mantras, oh, Om Shanti saying, and I'm trying to be happy outside. It's about imbibing that knowledge. It's about living those values. It's about practicing gratitude, appreciation, and love in every moment of your life. Dr. Robert Waldinger, Dr. Robert Waldinger, the famous Harvard neuroscientist carried out this wonderful study, which is called the Grant and the Gluex study. 700 people followed up for 75 years consecutively just to see that what is one powerful thing that makes you successful and happy in your life? What were the results? The singular factor that predicted your success and happiness was nothing, but it was good relations powerful relations, happy relations. This is what predicts your healthy genetic age. This is what predicts your healthy life. My dear friends, my first and powerful message to you is happiness is a journey. It's not a destination. It's a journey. Your lifestyle, the way you are thinking, the way you are creating thoughts, you have the power to regulate your genes. No one else is going to do that. You change your thoughts, your genes are completely going to align according to the way of thinking. You have the power to switch off your positive and happy genes. You also have the power to switch off your negative genes. That is why Times Magazine very beautifully said, why your DNA isn't your destiny. The new science of epigenetics clearly shows that the choices that you are making, the choices that you are making for yourself and your kids, they can completely change your genes. This is the science. Your thoughts can transform your genetic power, your genes also. Hence, proved. We are working on newer experiments now, collaborating with various institutes. And now we have designed an interesting study called the Yomic study. Yomic is yoga, meditation and integrative care. And we are rehabilitating post-MI patients, measuring their psychosocial stress. One of our studies, which is under publication, just now we have submitted it is 1,500 patients we have taken of heart attack and measured what is the contemporary stress levels. You would be amazed and also not very happy to hear that 93% of our heart attack patients had moderate to severe level of stress today. Imagine where have we gone wrong. So changing your thoughts can actually change and transform your genes. The second question that comes is that, okay, Dr. Gupta, you talked about genetics, but I'm able to see my body. I'm not able to see my genes. Can I actually reprogram my body also with my thoughts? I've been hearing so much about meditation. Does meditation also have the power to change and program my body. What are the experiments for this? Let me show you a couple of them. Dr. Alvaro Pascal Leon, a famous neuroscientist, showed that how we can reprogram our brain. Now look at me. What experiments he did, they are phenomenal. Very simple experiments. He divided this group into two groups, group one and group two. You got it? You are with me, guys, right? Now, very simple experiment and unbelievable experiments. What he did was, he said, I would like to teach piano to both the groups. To group one, he made you sit in front of the piano and made you play the piano for two weeks and studied the changes in your brain that are happening when you are playing the piano. To this group, what he did was, he just gave you a picture of piano and made you imagine as if you are playing a piano. Got it? So you guys were playing actually and you were only imagining that you are playing. And he studied changes that are occurring in brain after two weeks in both the groups. When he did the magnetic, functional magnetic resonance imaging of both the groups, what were the results? The results were revealing. Mental practice resulted in similar reorganization of brain. Those who were playing piano actually, their brain changed. But those people, you, who were only thinking that you are playing piano, their brain also changed significantly in the same amount. How is this feasible? This is what is called neuroplasticity. When you are doing something, 
continuously, as Sister Shivani was saying, that you are practicing something continuously, it rewires your brain. Dr. Eric Candle, 2000, he got a Nobel Prize for this. Nerve cells that fire together, they wire together. When you are firing continuously something, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this, brain will continuously form a program, a new synapse, a new program, a new program and when you repeat it, it gets hardwired and 21 days to 240 days, it gives you a completely new habit. This is what the power that we all have. That is why it's a time for change. Now look at your life. How this neuroplasticity works, every day, I meet n number of people, they say, I am always su unsuccessful, success doesn't seem to come to me easily, my children don't study, I don't think even he will pass this time, my children are not eating properly. When you are continuously saying and repeating something negative even in your mind, not in your words, but when you are continuously repeating something in your mind, your brain is happy doing only one thing. Brain is continuously saying tathastu, tathastu, tathastu. It's not going to say anything else. Whatever you say it in your mind, brain will say tathastu, it will find a program and that program will be hardwired when you do it repeatedly and you will start attracting that negative thing towards you. This is what is called forming a new pathway. Repetition and practice is going to strengthen these pathways and old pathways will get less and that is why, if we need to program our brain and our body, we need to continuously feed our mind with positive and powerful thoughts. Very important, repetitively, continuously you have to form a program and when you do that, you make law of attraction work for you. You start attracting that thing naturally towards your own life. Why we are not able to get successes only because of our own emotional imbalance and catastrophic thinking. Continuously thinking, the only thing that holds your success or keeps your success away from you is nothing but your own emotional imbalance and old negative thinking. But when we are thinking positive, when we are continuously contemplating positive things, you start attracting positive things. So that is why whatever you want to create outside must first be created in your mind. Whatever you want to create outside must first be created in your mind. I'll share an example with you. In 2001, when I came from America, I started studying for cardiology. At that time, we had only five seats in our institute. And many people, my teachers, my seniors were giving exam with me. And practically nobody used to get that particular seat in first attempt. So I went to my mother and said that, you know, it's very difficult for me. It was almost July uh, 2001, it was. And I said, it's very difficult for me to clear this exam, but I'm already an MD person, so I'll give one attempt. If I clear, that is fine. If I don't clear, I'll practice MD medicine. So she said, come here, Mohit. Uh, what's the problem? How many seats you have? I said, there are only five seats. So she asked me, how many seats do you want out of five? And naturally, I said, of course, I want only one, mummy. So she said, why don't you focus on one and remove four out of them? I, that sounded a lot of, that made a lot of sense to me. And what I did was, I removed those four seats out of my brain and I wrote in front of my desk that this one seat is for me. I wrote it very clearly, this one seat is for me. And 6, 19th July 2001, I started studying cardiology. I started working day in and out, very properly, very sincerely. I used to work on my body at that time also, I was 96 kgs at that time and I had diabetes, hypertension and thyroid and fatty liver and somebody also told me that you want cardiologist, then you want to be a cardiologist like a personality. So they said to me, a 96 years old guy, I'll show you my pictures, this is what I was in 2001, this is a picture in front of Disneyland Orlando, I am sitting here, uh, here I am still in shape but actually I am much more obese at that time, you know. So this is, this really hurt me and I started studying from 19th July and 9th February was my exam. 9th February I came out after giving my exam, I have vivid memories of that Saturday. 9.30 to 12.30 was the exam, 12.30 I came out happily, went to my friends and seniors, come on let us discuss the paper. Nobody discussed the paper with me. They said, Dr. Gupta, 
घर जाइए शाम तक पेपर भेज देंगे की के साथ ताकि अगली बारी अटेम्प्ट अच्छा दे पाए दीज वर देयर वर्ड्स आई फेल्ट वेरी बैड आई सेट डजेंट मैटर कोई बात नहीं आई वेंट फॉर अ हेयर कट वेंट बैक स्टार्टेड लिसनिंग टू एयर सप्लाई होटल कैलिफोर्निया एंजॉयड माई म्यूजिक आई सेट कोई बात नहीं आई गेव माई बेस्ट एंड द बेस्ट विल हैपन फिफ्टीन डेज लेटर आई गॉट माई रिजल्ट आई हैड फर्स्ट रैंक इन माई कंट्री My percentage at that time was 95 percent, and the second rank was 78 percent, 78, 77, and 76 percent. I never thought that I am not getting that. I knew that when you glue your intention with imagination and put a "do not disturb" sign, success has and success will come to you in unexpected ways. This is the power of belief. this is the power of programming i thought that i am already a cardiologist i was visualizing myself all these six months that i am already a cardiologist i am practicing that i never thought that i am not getting it and i knew that thing was there served like a platter for me not only that while studying that when i was 96 kg 9th february 2002 when i came back home after giving my exam in those 6 months while studying for cardiology i lost 23 kg and regained a whole new personality i uh, my diabetes disappeared my thyroid disappeared my fatty liver disappeared that was not an achievement my dear friends the achievement is 21 years down the lane till today i landed up in madhuban only at 6 am i completed my 10000 steps right here today in the morning before coming to you and i am still maintaining my schedule every day balanced life and balanced exercise this is the raj yogi and a meditative lifestyle it's not just about talking it's about living those values it's about creating whatever you want to create outside dekhna chahte hain isko usko man mein blueprint create kariye believe on yourself yes this is going to happen to me this is what meditative power gives you start your day with positive affirmation live with positive affirmation believe that optimism is my way of life pessimism is not way of my life and you will start creating magic only only and only if you believe on yourself that's the mantra that's the mantra chanting listening just sitting in meditation is never going to help you what is going to help you is your belief system that yes this is going to happen set a target i want to transform this i want to achieve this i want to create this it's professional it's personal it's relational anything i get n number of people who come for counseling i keep on telling only thing between you and your success is your own belief negative system पता नहीं होगा या नहीं होगा डॉक्टर मोहित ने तो कर लिया विल आई बी एबल टू डू इट उनके लिए तो काम कर गया मेरे लिए करेगा या नहीं करेगा इट्स नेवर गोइंग टू वर्क इफ यू से इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर मी आई विल मेक इट वर्क फॉर मी यू विल सी मैजिक विल स्टार्ट अनफोल्डिंग इन योर लाइफ मैजिक इज नॉट दिस इज द पावर ऑफ राज्य को मेडिटेशन दिस इज वेयर अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आर टूडे हेडिंग इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट टॉकिंग टू यू इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट गिविंग यूर टेन और ट्वेंटी पॉइंट प्रोग्राम बट द वे वी आर लीडिंग द वे वी हैव यूज दिस पावर इज दीज आर दी टूल्स विच डिजाइन अवर डेस्टनी नॉ सम ऑफ यू डेफिनेटली बी थिंकिंग ठीक है डॉक्टर मोहित अबाउट द बॉडी आई डू अंडरस्टैंड बट तब क्या करें वेन वी आर इल there are times when my body is not giving me you know uh, really uh, it's not giving me or accompanying me or supporting me to do the things i want to do can my thoughts also affect my body or my well being during illness is it possible or not let me show you fantastic experiments that we have been conducting and that one of the phenomenal experiments that has been published in any gm that's number 1 medical journal of the world this is called sham studies now what dr jb mosley did he is an ortho guy ortho surgeon look at me don't get boggled by the slide look at me what he did imagine only imagine don't experience please only imagine you all have knee pain only imagine you don't have now what dr jb mosley did was he said i am going to operate all of you he divided you into two groups group 1 as usual group 2 as usual and here are our dear observers to group 1 he took you to the table he anesthetized you he opened your knee he operated on your knee he closed your knee the surgery was being telecasted live he
he discharged you and followed up you for pain improvement for six months. What did he do for you? He took you to the table, anesthetized you, behosh kiya, opened your knee, but did not touch your knee. He just kept on manipulating something as if he was doing something, but did not touch your knee. He broadcasted a false surgery outside, but he told you, closed your knee, discharged you, but he told you your knee has been operated. Your knee has been operated. You were told without touching your knee and something else was broadcasted and he also followed up you for six months. So we had two groups, one which was operated, one which was not operated, but everybody believing that they have been operated, got it? And then he measured the improvement that occurred in six months. What were the results? The results were that yo, you guys had a significant pain improvement and you were very happy, but these poor people who were not operated, their pain also improved in the similar way. This was the magic. He was amazed that their knee had not been touched. But the pain improvement that occurred in this group was almost similar to those people who were operated. How is this happening? Because he concluded, because your mind has accepted that now my knee is this is called placebo effect, optimism, suggestibility, I will discuss all the questions in the end. Optimism, suggestibility, empathy, that when you start believing, when you start guess that this is going to improve significantly, it may not work 100%, but yes, your belief system can completely change your immunocytochemistry release, your molecular release and it can decrease the pain sensitizers and improve the perception of pain in you. On the contrary, the nocebo effect, that means anxiety, pessimism and catastrophizing has an opposite effect. Like patients do today, pata nahi hoga ya nahi hoga. Doctor dawai to de raha hai, I don't think this is going to work on me. When you are already saying that this doctor medicine is not going to work on you, you already are programming yourself that this thing is not going to heal you. These are called sham surgeries and sham experiments. This is how, aap sab ko experience hai, just by talking to this doctor, half of my illness is gone, hota hai sab ke saath ya nahi hota? Why? How does it happen? Doctor has not even given you a medicine. Doctor has just talked to you and just by talking, your perception of pain is lessened because your inside pain, the agony, the mental illness, the anxiety that you are carrying, that lessens significantly and you start experiencing joy and happiness in your life. This is the psychology, this is how your body works, my dear friends. This is where meditation strikes. Meditation is never a replacement for medications, remember this. Never ever in my life I have advocated or administered this thing that stop medicines and use only meditation. No. Meditation is a beautiful complement to the existing various allopathic, spiritual or Ayurvedic or whatever science you want to use. It is fantastic. Once you complement therapies with each other, they can actually work wonders. So, our thoughts can actually also influence our body illnesses, but what about serious illnesses? Sometimes we are having serious illnesses, serious diseases. Can our thoughts also affect our serious diseases and illnesses? Is it possible? I will share two experiments, one my own life journey and one this old wonderful gentleman called Mr. Stomatis Moratis. Now this poor guy was a US war veteran, retired in 1976 and he was diagnosed with biopsy proven terminal lung cancer. Dhyan se Biopsy proven terminal lung cancer. He was given three months to live. Three months to live. He said, Bhaiya, marna to hai hai. If I am to die, and if I die in America, the burial would be costing $300. Why don't we go to, I go to my town called Ikaria in Greece, where burial would be costing only $20. So he left America. I will meet my family and friends in Ikaria. He flew to Ikaria, started planting vineyards in front of his house, started connecting with his faith, meeting his old childhood friends, started meeting his families, his grandchildren, meditative lifestyle, vegetarian diet, walking every day, digitally disconnected. One month passed, two months, three months, six months, twelve months, two years, three years, five years. And five years he was thinking, Yaar, mujhe to marna tha. 
आई एम स्टिल अलाइव हाउ इज इट है हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल आई वॉज बायसी प्रोवन कैंसर बट इज इट कोई बात नहीं चलते हैं लेट एस कंटिन्यू टेन ईयर्स हो गए हिस्स स्ट्रेस फर्दर माउंटेड नाउ टेन ईयर्स बायसी प्रोवन लंग कैंसर आई एम स्टिल अलाइव ही फ्लू टू अमेरिका टू मीट इज डॉक्टर्स दैट वॉट इज हैपन वाई एम आई नॉट डाइंग एंड जस्ट टू फाइंड दैट ऑल दो डॉक्टर्स हुए डायग्नोज वर ऑलरेडी डेड बाई दैट टाइम already dead by that time this is all documented in the literature all documented in the literature he came back to town called ikaria he studied his reports they were still biopsy proven cancer and he ultimately left his body at the age of 102 years this man is known as the man who almost forgot to die note his name you can search the man who almost forgot to die the beauty is the place where he lives that place is called the island where people forget to die this town this place it called ikaria the average people longevity is 90 plus years look at these are real pictures what is common in these people what is common in these people these people have an active lifestyle these people have good sleep and natural connect a positive and a meditative lifestyle and they have a plant based vegetarian diet guys this is the beauty your lifestyle meditation is not about chanting just about thinking yaar main to atma hu parmatma ko yaad karu that is one of the ways we connect with supreme but how does it manifest that is manifesting as bliss as joy as happiness as peace as comfort as knowledge as purity in my life as acceptance in my life as understanding in my relations everything that meditation can give you that is manifesting in your behavior and this is where the magic is unfolding this is where the magic is unfolding similarly the things happened with me as i told you my journey happened in 2003 i was in semi conscious stage ultimately it was like resistant to 18 drugs sensitive only to one and i was taken up for surgery on 20th june 2005 a massive brain surgery my right brain was about to be taken out it lasted for 6 hours 6 hours dr ray ke singh my teacher he did the surgery in fortis it was successful surgery two days later i told him i am going to get a discharge he said dr mohit abhi do din to hue tere brain ki surgery hui tu ghar jayega maine kaha so i am going to go home i am going to drive my car myself he was like amazed he said theek hai nobody is going to stop you do whatever you want to monday i took my car i drove it to my home i thought i was fine my record it's wonderful surgery has been done and that is where the game started Six months down the lane, when my scans were being repeated, you would be surprised. I developed another lesion in my brain. New lesion started appearing in my brain. Look at this. The old lesion which was here. Look at this. This lesion. This was already taken out. And in my cerebellum, I developed another mass. Imagine, a person who is a spiritualist, who is practicing Raj Yoga meditation for 30 years. लोग कहते थे Raj Yoga करते हो, फिर भी तुम्हारे ऊपर बीमारी आ रही है. तुम ये करते हो फिर भी तुम्हारे साथ ये हो रहा है पीपल वर लाइक दिस दे वर टेकिंग टू माई मी टू टेम्पल्स टू ऑल दीज पीपल आई हैड टू गो टू सेटिस्फाई पीपल बट आई न्यू इन माई माइंड दैट डॉक्टर्स वर नॉट एबल टू ऑपरेट दिस हेड कि वी कैन नॉट टच योर सेरीबेलम दिस इज वेरी सेंसिटिव एरिया इफ यू डैमेज यू विल लूज योर पॉस्चर यू विल डेवलप अटैक्सिया फॉर योर लाइफ I had no options. I was taking optimal medicines. Docs from America, from Bangalore, Doctor Rajeshwari, and from uh, Delhi. They were combining the regime and giving me the regime, but nothing working out. I went to Dadi Gulzar. I remember at that time, Dadi Gulzar was additional head of Brahma Kumaris. I was like a child when I grew her in, grew in her lap, and she just politely made me sit. Easy things I kept. She said, "Mohit, you are a doctor and you are also a yogi. Why don't you use yoga power to heal yourself?" these were her simple words she said do a focused meditation to heal your brain that appealed to me i said i have been doing meditation for last 30 years but why should i not be using meditation for my brain i started practicing not listening to anybody they said i yahan jao wahan jao i said no nothing doing now imagine a cardiologist a scientist who is hardcore scientist you know now taking up to balancing spirituality with his scientific life 2006 i started practicing meditation every day 3 am in the morning one hour focusing on my brain my brain is getting healed i am not diseased i created non acceptance for the disease i am not ill my brain is absolutely healthy medicines are acting on my brain perfectly 
nothing is going to happen to me, I am going to be perfect, I am going to be fine absolutely. And daddy also told me, shake water, charge it powerfully with Bama's, with Supreme's knowledge and power and drink that particular water. Every uh, day I used to do that and one year down the lane, people were saying, MRI karale, kuch badana gaya ho, kuch problem catastrophe na I said, no, now this will stop only after one year. April 2007, when I did my MRI, you would be surprised. This is what I got. It had completely disappeared. Out of my completely disappeared. Raj Yoga meditation is not about reciting. Meditation creates miracles. This is the power of Raj Yoga meditation. This is what you can do to your body, what I did to my body. Today, you are listening to a person who has only 40% of his hearing. Look at this, I am wearing devices. I have six screws in my spine and I maintain my balance very difficultly. I have problem in standing. You cannot imagine my spines are fixed. I don't have my right side brain, but meditation makes me feel absolutely light. Nobody would ever come to know that this person is like this. Meditation can create miracles. Whatever you have listened over one, one and a half years, my dear friends, my job is, my aim is to make you understand the immense power that each one of you, this is not unique to Dr. Mohit or to anybody else, this is unique to a mindset that you want to create. Each one of you, if you are having this illness, diabetes or hypertension, say, I am a non-diabetic, I am going to leave my diabetes right here, I am going to reform my thinking and I am going to have my completely new life designed. This is the power that you can create. Use this power of belief and see the magic that you can create. Your body is consisting of 50 trillion cells. All of them working in harmony, but when central command goes, it creates a beautiful magical symphony. This is what we are, my dear friends. This is what we are. We all have the power to heal, but only ingredient is our belief. Yes, we can do it. I can do it. This is how I have been living my life in meditation, in Brahma Kumaris. People have been saying, do this, do this. I have experimented this. I have used this in my patients, in my lifestyle, in my every aspect. I use this power to create miracles, to turn the things right to left and left to right. I will try to go into the brains, program them, situations according to me and come out. This is the power of thought that you have. This is the power of thought. You just enter. By your purity, by your pristine mind, by your pure mind, you transform negative to positive, not positive to negative. It works positively. It works miracles. My dear friends, what you think, you will become. Hence, even by your thoughts, you can cure or at least decrease the pain and the agony associated with severe illnesses. This is the science and magic of meditation. What about relations? What about relations? You have been listening about relations so much, you know. Sister Shivani told you, so many other people conducted meditations. I am not going to load you, but I am going to give you very simple. Our life is all about beautiful relations. For last 10 years, I have stopped working on words. I have always, I have stopped working on words. Language is designed to hide feelings. This is what the principle goes. Why, I will tell you. You may be, after I am gone from here, you may be saying, Oh, Dr. Mohit to me. Oh, Dr. Mohit, it was a fantastic lecture, wonderful lecture, something I have never heard in my life. Or, mere jane ke baad sakte hai, ye bhi koi lecture tha, isse achha to mai bol leta. Possible, possible. You could be saying that, you know, language can always lie. But remember, vibrations and energy never lies. My dear friends, the ingredient for great relations are not great words. The ingredient for a great relation is great vibrations, great energy. It's all about energy. We are not just physical entity, but we are energy waves. Every day, we are radiating energy in our relations. You may be saying, oh, I adore you, I accept you, you are so wonderful. And you say, no, you are changing. You are changing. You will do like that, but remember when your word, remember when your words and your vibrations are in synchrony with each other. Om Shabd, Acharana, Ucharana, Man Ke Vichar, A, actions, you, utterance and M, thoughts of the mind. When they are in synchrony with each other, you create magic in your life. 
यू क्रिएट एंड स्पिल मैजिक इन योर रिलेशन आज होता क्या है आज आपने मुझे कहा बुरा एंड आई विल कीप दैट थिंग इन माई माइंड इसने मुझे बहुत बुरा कहा आई एम फीलिंग रियली बैड आई अलाउ दैट थिंग टू एंटर माई माइंड लाइक अ गार्बेज वन डे वन पर्सन वन गार्बेज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव डेज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव पर्सन आई विल गेट थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव बिग पैकेट ऑफ गार्बेज इन माई माइंड एंड इफ हैपन्स फॉर टेन ईयर्स इट अमाउंट टू थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एंड इफ आई गेट टेन सच पर्सन एवरी डे दिस विल गो टू थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद ईच वन ऑफ अस वी आर कॉन्शियसली एंड अनकॉन्शियसली कैरिंग द नेगेटिव थिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स इन आर माइंड नेगेटिव थिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स इन आर माइंड and when we do this irrespective of our behavior is irrespective of the words that we speak our vibrations and our energy are never going to change but if i allow myself to be continuously bothered by anger by irritation by hatred and jealousy by feeling of competition by criticism by complaint and by expectations these eight emotions have completely destroyed and captured my mind and relations how will i practice and how will i actually transform myself no amount of meditation no amount of yoga is going to take care of your relations until and unless you consciously choose to clean your mind out of these negative emotions meditation is cleaning these negative things it's about seeing goodness in others it's about accepting others it's about understanding that people are not my way but i also understand their way is also a right way accepting that thing appreciating others agar sab kuch mere jaisa hi hoga to maza nahi aayega variety and differential you know this is what uh, diversity is the beauty of our life so every day my message to you is clean your mind clean your mind aap dekho if we are able to do this every day let me do this exercise will you do one exercise for me for next 3 days yes or no raise your hands please photo nikal lo zara inki taki baad mein mana na kare ye log ha please take a click of these guys you know okay exercise is very simple my exercise is very simple for 3 days when you go out of your from this place to home do one exercise for 3 days only that ghar mein jab roz safai hogi kitchen ka kooda bathroom ka kooda and washroom ka kooda and pure ghar ka kooda usko sambhal ke for 3 days you have to decorate and keep it in your drawing room very simple exercise nothing more than that ready or not ready or not this is pure cheating yeah? this is on air everything is on air you just raise your hands we are going to do and you are saying not why would you not do that because why would you not do that because this is going to be infectious badbu aayegi this is going to smell who is going to experience this you are going to experience this so our home should be cleaned once in a year once in a week or daily our home should be clean once in a week or daily louder to ghar ki safai roz honi hai to man ki safai bhi to roz karo that's the beauty us ghar ke andar jo man rehta hai us ghar ke andar jo mind rehta hai usko bhi to roz saaf karo only 10 minutes only 10 minutes i take 1440 minutes roz sabko milte hain chhota ho bada ho ameer ho gareeb ho ceo ya employee ho it doesn't make any difference god gives you a packet of 1440 minutes gives you these minutes every day i'm saying 10 minutes for your own self to clean your mind nikal do zindagi ko humne kuch is tarah aasan kar diya kisi se maafi mang li kisi ko maaf kar diya simple very simple not complex very very simple कभी आपसे गलती हो जाए सॉरी किसी से हो जाए और ऐसा नहीं कहना देख मैंने तुझे सॉरी कर दिया वाइब्रेशंस वर्ड्स एंड वाइब्रेशंस मैचिंग दे आर मैचिंग इच अदर एम्ब्रेस इच अदर दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज द मैजिक दैट यू कैन क्रिएट इन योर लाइफ यू हैव टू चूज एंगर वर्सेज लव यू हैव टू चूज कंपैशन वर्सेज जेलेसी मन की किचन को एक ही चीज से डेकोरेट कर सकते हो चॉइस आपका है दिस इज योर चॉइस you cannot have two things you can use only one thing to decorate whatever you decorate whatever you nurture appreciation acceptance compassion love it is going to grow significantly it is going to blow wonderfully this is the magic that you have to create this is your mind this is the power of raj yoga meditation this is the power that you have it's about nurturing the beauty that you have each one of you is a beautiful soul 
गुस्सा तो मेरी आदत है क्यों क्योंकि आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग इट रिपीटेडली नाउ स्टार्ट सेइंग प्यार तो मेरी आदत है आई प्रैक्टिस इट एवरी डे आई प्रैक्टिस लव लेट मी टेल यू ऑनेस्टली आई एम नॉट हियर एज एन आइडियल पर्सन डिस्पाइट बींग इन ब्रह्मा कुमारीज ऑन द रिकॉर्ड आई एम कन्फेसिंग डिस्पाइट बींग इन ब्रह्मा कुमारीज फॉर फोर्टी ईयर्स आई एड हैड दर्स्ट फॉर्म्स ऑफ टेम्पल आई एड बीन एंग्री ऑन पीपल I had had hatred and jealousy for people. I had complained for people. people. complained despite practicing Raj Yoga meditation and after years and years of practice, today I am confessing, telling you with my own experiences, it was not worth a single bit. Why? Why? Listen to me. Because if you are bitten by a snake bite, you cannot be unbitten. Snake bite will never kill you. but it's allowing that poison to spread through your body that kills you stop that particular snake bite right there at that moment take out that poison spill it out and make yourself into a completely beautiful evolved human being this is the power of raj yoga meditation forgive there and also forget there if you don't forget you will never be able to forgive remember no amount of forgiveness will happen until unless you choose to clean off your mind also with that particular thing so we must understand that we all have the ability to use vibrations but we don't use this power use your energy come on just is tarah muskurate ho the moment you enter anywhere people just glow in happiness and joy you bring so much light into the lives of the people they are unbelievably charged kehta na kisi ne bada sundar kaha hai कि जिंदगी में हर जज्बात को जुबा नहीं मिलती जिंदगी में हर जज्बात को जुबा नहीं मिलती जिंदगी में हर आरजू को दुआ नहीं मिलती मुस्कुराहट बनाए रखो तो दुनिया साथ है आंसुओं को तो आंखों में भी पना नहीं मिलती यू शुड बी चार्ज यू शुड बी स्प्रेडिंग जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस योर एवरी वाइब्रेशन योर एवरी वर्ड योर एवरी थिंग कर्मा शुड बी फुल ऑफ लव एंड जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस this is the power that you are this is the power of meditation this is the power of almighty who spills so much happiness meditation is not just i am a soul i am communicating with supreme soul it's about imbibing that happiness in every cell charging your every cell of your body with so much energy and power that people are just blown apart they are just drifting into that spill of joy and happiness because the most valuable gifts you can give to someone is your love your time and your attention it's not money my dear friends in this world of high technology in this world of high technology high tech is no more needed my dear friends i'm here to inculcate high touch in your lives we need to have high touch today technology needs to be complemented and significantly replaced by compassion by feelings by vibrations and by touch make time for relations bachchon ke sath bachche ban jao even today when i go back home after operating so many cases my parents who are 75 plus they are waiting after they are uh, working i don't go home there as a cardiologist professor or a principal cardiologist to the parliament i ho enter home as their son aur ghar jaate hi rakhte awaaz aayegi mohit kahan par ho mummy aa raha hu just come here beta idhar aaje idhar sa aata gund then i will start gundoing aata in my home kabhi kabhi kuch hoga mummy you are not well i'll make chapatis for my family doesn't matter at all we all are great cooks and after who oh, everything is done we always have a e free meal ek ghar ke andar aneko ghar bana lete hain we are connected with each other kaise whatsapp pe message chal raha hai no we are not allowed to connect with each other no television no mobile mobile phone we will have an e free meal all together for last 40 years never missed a meal together everybody everybody will sit and have a meal together these are simple principles these are simple detox principles kuch karna thodi na hai aur uske baad kabhi kabhi unke sath ludo khel lena hai unke sath kuch aur kar lena hai never let the child inside you what die meditation is not about just being a sanyasi or detaching no it's about living those joys simple joys of life every day communicating we go on vacations we go on this within our boundaries we travel together we celebrate together we are with their our families but in a balanced way people say then these guys are coming these four of them they bring so much love and light to every party and every being this is what meditative power is all about our thoughts can also charge our water shivani ben told you experiments you all know by dr masaru emoto the japanese scientist beautiful and fantastic experiments that he conducted that how your thoughts only for 30 seconds can completely change the crystal pattern of water look at this the feeling of love 
beautiful crystal pattern whereas feeling of evil and disgust a ugly crystal pattern he said that whenever you are creating positive emotions look at this what is happening here when you are drinking water you charge water this water is like a holy water it's going to give my mind peace love joy and happiness 10 seconds hold it give vibrations and drink it this is what you are going to drink a powerful and an empowered crystal pattern Dr Masaru said that by holding intention towards peace towards water by thinking speaking and acting with intention of peace towards water water can and water will bring peace to your bodies and your mind you have the power to transform your lives not only this look at this your food everything experimenting nothing we are not practicing anything in brahma kumaris from childhood that is not scientific based there is lot of science that goes bhojan se pehle yahan par bhog banta hai why why do we remember baba why do we remember almighty before we are having food because food has vibrations look at the same rice grains three different feelings hate nothing and love when you give the power of love to rice grains same temperature same atmosphere that grains are absolutely healthy whereas feelings of hate and nothing this destroys the grain within two or three days all documented experiments our thoughts are creating a powerful influence on what we are thinking what we are drinking and what we are eating even today in our home when all of us are one doctors and one entrepreneur all four of us we will prepare bhog and that bhog we will offer to parmatma to god only for 2 minutes the, that is empowered that is mixed with the whole food and then we accept it in our life wherever we are traveling bhog and remembrance of god is an integral part we travel seven continents throughout the year in different places but never ever we miss remembering almighty because we know the entrance and the soul transformation the main source is what we are eating should be energized by god's vibrations look at this nature how our thoughts can heal nature same plant same flowers same location three different vibrations ignore hate and love you ignore means neutral hate means negative and love means positive look at the influence on the nature also nature responds to our vibrations my dear carry out these experiments in your own home people have been doing this take two pots one with a flower another with the same flower and give different energies and observe for one week you will see what vibrations and transformations can occur in those flower pots it's completely your own mindset my dear friends our thoughts have a very powerful influence also on the nature and lastly also on the atmosphere this beautiful experiment was carried out in washington 1993 when the crime rate rapes rate and assault rate in washington was significantly high in a city of 40 million people 40 lakh people they deployed only 4000 meditation practitioners for 6 weeks just to meditate for half an hour to create a powerful influence that crime is decreasing within 6 weeks you know 23% decrease in homicides rapes and assaults was observed and they said that out of 4 lakh people if 4000 people only are meditating for one year the crime will decrease by 50% 48% your thoughts are creating transformation if the energy here is positive you are responsible for this if energy at your home at your workplace in the environment is negative no one else we are responsible for this if we create powerful and positive thoughts raj yoga meditation is about creating a powerful global influence on the whole energy if others are not changing it doesn't matter let me do my job let me do the cleaning of the whole self my own family and magic will be unfolded my dear friends this is what times magazine said it's called unlocking the god gene our dna our meditative principles seek and compel us to believe that yes there is a higher power we have the power to create our destiny the way we want you have the power to create your own conscious future the way you want how much you want no one else is going to do it for you 1440 minutes that means an equal number of opportunities you are gifted with this is the magic that you can each one of you have this power and let me tell you creating a conscious future 
Raj Yoga meditation is one of the most powerful epigenetic healers. I am not here to impress you. I am not here to force you into Raj Yoga meditation. Never. Not at all. But it has worked for me as an example. It has really worked for me. I have great experiments and experiences with Raj Yoga meditation. I can thoroughly and firmly say that yes, this is bringing transformation. I leave you with this powerful message that whatever floats your boat, Whatever you are comfortable with, practice it with faith. Raj Yuga meditation can create wonders. Today now we are working on next level. We are collaborating with institutes like IIT, Genomic Institutes, where we are now working that how this yoga, physical and Raj Yuga meditation is combining as a powerful tool to change our genes also. To, we are designing models to create happiness in our life, to let go of depression and this is working strongly. Our next paper that is being submitted today only, where we have designed an artificial intelligence algorithm, where we have used this Raj Yoga meditation to make our health workers come out of depression and lack of well-being. This is the power that we create, this is the transformation that we create. Raj Yoga meditation is about charging your mind. Just as you charge your mobile, similarly, meditation is charging your own mind, my dear friends. You charge your own mind. It's about inculcating love, bliss, peace, happiness, power, knowledge and purity. You are a soul. Like in a mandir, there is a murti. Like in a seep, there is a small murti. In this way, in this wonderful bodily costume, we are none, but we are a shining point of light. We are an energy. Today we have immense experiments that we have carried out. That session I will take some day later for you. That what is the science behind soul? Why you should actually understand that you are a soul? We have immense scientific experiments now to prove it in hard, in principle that you will say, oh, I am convinced now, not just by spirituality, but thoroughly that I am not this body, I am a soul. We have conducted these experiments now. So when you are charging your soul, your initial booting folder with this lovely virtues, you understand that you are the king maker of your life. You are the king maker of your life. Nobody else has this power. You have the control over your mind, intellect and sanskars. They are your ministers and you have complete control over your subjects. You know, your own hands, your mouth, whatever you are speaking, whatever you are doing, whatever you are seeing, it's completely inside your own control, inside your own harmony. You are the king, I am the king. And here is Almighty, the king maker, from whom you derive this powerful energy. I with folded hands request you, that taste the power of meditation as it is. Use it, experiment with it, play with it. We don't give you a singular custom meditation. I strongly advocate customized Raj Yoga meditation. Whatever you want, you customize it the way you want. If you want love from God, you practice love from God. If you want success from God, have a beautiful relation, practice a meditation for success. You get that power for success. You design whatever you want. This is what Raj Yoga meditation of Brahma Kumaris is all about. You get whatever you want. It's only intensity. It's only about completely surrendering yourself to Almighty. These are the pictures from magnetoencephalogram. Look at this. When we scan brains of normal people like you, a normal person had an unbalanced brain wave pattern. A brain which is prone to anxiety, to depression and a poor mental health. 15 minutes of meditation started creating magic in your brain. Look at this. The harmony that is created. The synchrony. The symphony that is playing inside. And 25 minutes is what it needed to completely synchronize your brains, my dear friend. This gave you a more integrated, better emotional and mental health system. A brain which is powerfully empowered, which can create anything that you want. Today, many of you believe that we are karma. We believe in karma. Thousands of people come to me and say, we believe only in karma. Yes, you believe in karma. You will get success, but that will be only 50% of your capacity. Because working with left brain is logical, is reasoning, practical, strategic and analytical. But this is only 50% of you, my dear friends. 
but when you practice meditation you activate your right brain a holistic brain a loving brain a compassionate brain a brain which is vivid which controls even your left brain this is what is called a meditative brain my dear friends this is the harmony that you can create this is the joy that is why in meditation we don't just say that throughout the day you are just chanting mantra you are just sitting in meditation no meditation is a lifestyle the raj yuga meditation of brahma kumaris is not a just a sitting meditation it's a way of why lifestyle because it's not just about this body but it's also about the life here that how i am thinking how i am creating joy it's about enjoying the joys of life it's about create connecting with people and spilling happiness and comfort in your own life my dear friends in the end i leave you with a very small message that work is always going to be there pressures are always going to be there and one wonderful person went to a, ma a saint and said are monks supposed to check mails are monks supposed to check mails and monk was very smart to reply yes you can as far as there are no attachments my dear friends life is all about your own detaching yourself my dear friends a group of people like you went to a saint and said that when should we remember god and he was very wise enough to said you all are busy people isn't it you don't remember god every day you just remember god one day before you die they said that's very kind of you will that help he said yes that will definitely help just one day before you die you remember god one of you reverted and said but sir we don't know when are we going to die and he said then you remember today tomorrow what is going to happen nobody knows isn't it so the power of transformation the change that has to be created the change that has to be created that has to be created now my dear friends that has to be done now let me tell you these are the similar changes that we studied these are the experiments which i shared with also the honorable president of india and she was thoroughly convinced that yes we all have the power to do this we must prove raj yoga the way in scientifically we have an understanding because it's only the science that an intellectual person can understand and let me tell you my dear friends let me tell you my dear friends my only message to you as you embark on a journey a journey of your choice only one message please note it down in your mind in your mobile or click this picture click this picture forever remember 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 and remember that today is going to be the first day of rest of your life today is going to be the first day of rest of your life how you want it to be how you want to design it the way you want to lead it how you want to take your life forward from here it's only only and only your choice no one else is going to do it for you i don't want you to come here another in a conference which is going to happen in september or next year again visiting and listening to same centers and said dr gupta i listened to your lecture the last time it was wonderful now i'm here again to listen to the same lecture again i would be happy that if you come with experiences of transformation you say that i am now an evolved person i am here to awaken the mahatma the yogi the raj yogi in your own self each one of your soul is an enlightened soul it's waiting to be enlightened you all have the power my dear friends you all have the power to awaken yourself let us sit back for only 2 minutes of silence i'll give you beautiful thoughts open your eyes i know i am standing there right between you and your meals but it doesn't matter at all just last 2 minutes and then we break up for a bit of session okay so we have a very nice music with your faces smiling chehre par muskurat your mind your soul also smiling i see myself as a shining star as a point of light as a consciousness as a energy this costume experience it feel the energy i choose to 
clean my mind today of all that is negative, of anger, of negative behaviors, of irritation, experience the shower of happiness, love, and purity and joy shavering on your soul. Feel the energy. Every thought is floating with joy. I radiate this energy to my body. I am free from all the diseases. I am healthy. Love is mild. Way of life. I radiate this powerful energy to my relations. Experience bliss and joy in your relations. Experience happiness. Experience comfort. Peace is my way. Peace is my original nature. I change my way. I am a creator of my destiny. I am a creator of my life. Om Shanti. Thank you, Mohit Bhai. So, another round of applause for Mohit Bhai for teaching us how to create magic in our lives with little things. So, as he said, he's not busy, but be easy, doctor. <laughs> Take in his time and come amongst us to share his wonderful knowledge and experiences. Thank you once again. Om Shanti. So I request